Welcome back to the channel all about cooking for beginners. And today we have a culinary quick tip on why you should not crowd your pan. What I have here is a preheated pan to which we add a little bit of oil, swirl it and spread it around and then lay in one boneless skinless chicken thigh. As you can see, there's plenty of space for this chicken thigh to sear, meaning we're going to get that good Maillard browning that we're looking for. And once the first side is browned well enough, it should release easily from the pan. So we give it a flip and look at that browning. Notice the surface area and how much of it is golden brown as opposed to gray. When we say Maillard browning, this is what we're talking about. And this only occurs at high temperatures. When we flip the thigh once more, we can see there's also some good golden browning on this side as well. Now let's see what happens when you crowd the pan. So it's the same preheated pan, add some oil, and add a truly comical amount of chicken thighs to really overcrowd it. When you have a non-crowded pan, the food releases water as it cooks, but there's plenty of space and heat for that water to evaporate. In this scenario, because the pan is so crowded, all of the water that's being released is too much to evaporate at once. So instead of searing the chicken, we're boiling it. You can see the water on the sides of the pan. Notice how it's not evaporating immediately, which means it's boiling the chicken and we're not going to get a good sear. When we flip the first side, we can see a little bit of browning, but not nearly as much as when the pan was not crowded. And again, you can see the water boiling the chicken instead of searing it. The Maillard reaction that we want, those golden brown bits, are not going to occur because boiling water does not get above 212 Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius, which is not hot enough to make those Maillard reactions. And when we flip it again, you can see almost no browning on any of this side. It's all pretty much a uniform gray. The reason we want this Maillard browning is because it has a good crusty texture and creates flavor compounds that are very tasty. It doesn't seal in any juices, that's a myth. You can sear something very well, let it sit out, and you will still have to dab it because juices will leak. So you're not sealing in anything. As you can see from this side-by-side -side comparison, the non-crowded chicken thigh has much more Maillard browning than the crowded chicken thigh. And this is why we do not crowd our pans. I hope you found this recipe useful. And for more videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.